Hello and welcome to Tomorrow's Tech from the Department of Mechanical Engineering. Today I'm talking to my colleague here, Dr. Manish Tiwari. Manish, tell me what you do. I'm an academic in uh, UCL Mechanical Engineering Department and my research is around uh, nanoscale engineering. And you've brought a plant to show me. Tell me about this plant. Right, so this is an interesting example from nature, which is uh, a plant which has got leaves that are very hydrophobic, meaning leaves that, uh, that don't like water. Hydro is water and phobic is something that doesn't like it. So if I were to play with this plant leaf here, uh, if I try to place water droplet on top, these water droplets have a hard time sticking on the leaf. And that's because of the combination of the material of the leaf uh, surface as well as its surface texture. And if we play with it, they're brilliant because they're just like little balls running Indeed. around the surface. Indeed. They don't ever stick, they don't ever catch on to anything. That's right, that's right. So, and it, it, it lends uh, these leaves with this interesting property that if you can imagine some amount of dust on these leaves, this water droplet, as it rolls off, it will collect those dust particles. In some sense, the surface can act as a self-cleaning surface. And that's what has led to an excitement regarding this kind of surface treatment and how we can use these natural uh, surfaces as inspiration for designing uh, surfaces in laboratory and practical applications which can benefit from this kind of combination of material as well as surface texture. So this, the plant's obviously doing something lovely that we'd like more of. Sure. What's it actually doing? What's the trick here? If I were to draw a surface here, uh, this is how a regular surface would look like. And if you can imagine a hairy structure on the surface, so something like a hairy structure, I'll pick up a different color here. So this sort of a hairy structure. Now if I think of water, water does not like air. So what I'm essentially doing by introducing this hairy structure is I'm making it very difficult for a water droplet to go in perfect contact with the surface. So these hairy structures in a way are enhancing the hydrophobicity of the surface, which makes it very hard for the droplets to stick on them. So the principle here is that if you've got a, a rough or a hairy surface, we've got sure. a hairy plant, sure. it keeps this little cushion of air right. and then the droplet just rolls off the top of it all. That's right, that's right. Except if we zoom in, it's actually quite a bit more sophisticated than that because uh, a lot of these plants have what is called hierarchical roughness. So they have these microscale features, and if you zoom into onto those microscale features, you'll get nanoscale roughness as well. And that tends to enhance this, uh, 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 this hairy texture uh, that we are using to understand this feature here. And so you've got some samples that you've actually, you've made, you've copied that sure. thing. Let's, let's have a look at the samples. Sure, so this is an example where we've tried to go one up on a nature really, where we are not only making uh, uh, this coating which is super hydrophobic, but we are controlling the texture. Uh, now the thing about controlling the texture is, if we think, of, uh, if you look at this uh, surface mm -hmm. here, it's um, optically transparent and that's because even though these are rough, the roughness is controlled. So it's not scattering as much light, which means that it lets a light go through while at the same time it has the kind of property that we were looking at earlier. So I'll, I'll struggle to place water droplet on this. <laughs> this is a piece of aluminium where we have uh, introduced nanotexture using anodization process. And the idea is very similar to what we were looking at on glass plate, except here, this has to go on the fuselage or of, of a plane or in, per, in particular wings of an airplane where ice formation tends to be a big problem. So this surface is a metallic surface which is going to be hydrophobic as we mm -hmm. saw earlier. So ice is going to have hard time sticking on the surface. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, we are trying to control the texture which makes it very hard for ice to form in the first place. So we are going for a double whammy in that sense. So we make it difficult for ice to form from cold dro water droplets. And if it were to form, we make uh, the surface design in a manner that the adhesion is very low. So we can approach the problem from two perspectives. I think it was, uh, it was Richard Feynman, wasn't it, that said, uh, wrote an essay that said there's plenty, called there's plenty of room at the bottom. Indeed. You know, the idea that we're actually quite big and right. all these tiny details, they, they do matter even for us. Absolutely, they do, yeah.